one of those videos I feel like creators make when they've not made a video in a while and they feel like they're leaving people hanging and they want to make a video and they have a good idea pop in their head. And that's what I want to share with you today. But the last few weeks has been just stupid, stupid, busy, busy, busy. I feel like I've been on the road just so much, but that's kind of the shape of what life and work and ministry looks like for me right now since I'm not serving a local church. But anyway, hi, I'm Chad Brooks. I'm a pastor here in Louisiana, and I make videos about the Bible, uh, the spiritual life, and the everyday life of a pastor. And right now, since I'm serving as a full-time denominational official, ministry is really different and I'm going to a church, I'm not pastoring that church. That's been the first time in, you know, 14, 15 years I get to sit with my wife when I'm home on Sunday mornings, which I, this is the first Sunday I've been in church at that church that's my charge conference in Methodist language in like five Sundays. But I'm coming to do something interesting and it's about this. I'm, I wanna start maybe doing these quick videos when I can to just keep the channel cooking. Uh, but I've got something I wanna tell you about at the end of the video, so hang out and come to the end of the video at this. But this is my Bible of the day. As, as you can tell, I've got this massive, just here, I'll, 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 I'll take a video for you real quick and pop over there, because I've got this massive, huge group of Bibles that are back there on my Bible wall. So here, let's go this way. So you see Bibles from this shelf down are all Bibles and then there's other ones floating around in random places. For those of you who are curious, yes, there's the turkey buzzard. So let's pop back over to this. But, you know, I, I made a video and it came out, you know, a couple months back where I was like, my new church Bible. And I realized, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to do that because I've got so many really cool Bibles back there. So every Sunday morning before we go to church, I go back and I'm like, huh, what Bible am I going to carry today? And I thought about doing a video, a video series talking about all the random Bibles I have back there. I've done some videos before, but my favorite Bibles and the Bibles I used at certain points in time in my life. And this is the new, the new series I want to start off with. It's called My Sunday Bible of the Week. And my Sunday Bible of the Week for this week is this guy right here. This is an Oxford Annotated Revised Standard Version Bible. And when I pulled this off of the shelf this morning, I was like, okay, cool. It's a hardback. Checks that. It's in Revised Standard. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But it just, it's just, a, it's a solid, it's a, it's a carry edition, you know, it, it's just big enough to, the thump factor is there, uh, but it's, it's cool, it's, it's the size of like a modern thin line. Uh, but what was, was awesome about it was I opened it and I'm like, oh, whoever had this Bible before I did, because I, and this is an older Bible, it certainly was not mine first, they did a little bit of underlining in it, and they, 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 some stuff, and I was like, okay, this is cool, whose Bible was this? So I flipped to the front of it. And lo and behold, I see my dad's name on it. And it has an address uh, when he was in seminary at New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. It has the price mark. He paid $5.95 for this Bible. Uh, and so I got kind of excited. Got, it's, the, the, there's a page torn out of the front of it. Um, I might have had something to do with that when I was a kid because this would have been when I was, you know, born or very, very young. Uh, the copyright on the RSV here, this is interesting, is 1962. I'm trying to see if I can find when the publishing date of this was. And I can't find it, so it might be on that page that I might have torn out sometimes as a child. Uh, or this could have just been an old Bible that he found at a second-hand shop. But I carried it this morning, and I like it. You know, the print on it, it's, it's smaller. Uh, there's no margins. If you're a, a, a note writer in Bibles, like I am, like normally with this big guy, this is not a good Bible for you. But for a carry Bible to church, uh, it's, it was a solid Bible. And what I like about this, this is this is these student editions or college editions. Uh, there's other Bibles like this. It's almost a study Bible. It has some stuff at the bottom end, but I would not call that a study Bible. And this is part of a category that I would call maybe an academic Bible. I'm flipping through it right now. I'm seeing more of my dad's notes. I'll tell you, his handwriting got a lot worse over the years. You can almost read his handwriting when he was younger. He's probably in his mid-20s, late 20s at his oldest when he had this. 
Um, and so I'm just seeing his notes, that kind of stuff. And now I'm actually, I might flip through this thing tonight because apparently he actually has a decent amount of notes in the tiny margins that are there. Uh, but this sort of Bible you see, when I was in seminary and I've got one, you know, back there, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go back and forth to the Bible wall all day, all video long. Um, but it was this, uh, there's a style of Bible, I call them like, like it says college edition. That might be a good word for it. I call them academic Bibles. I remember when I was in seminary seeing professors carry these just like beat to all destruction of the Oxford annotated um, of, of this edition and some other editions. Uh, and it was like the Bible that you use for, you know, academic work, for scholastic work. It was not a, um, like a nice leather bound Bible, probably because in the, I've always seen these in hardback. This might be like how they made hardback Bibles back in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And I imagine that because they're designed to throw in bags and you know they'll carry with you and kind of get beat up a little bit more. Uh, that's what I've always called these these style of Bibles. I've used other versions of this. You know, there's the new Baylor NRSV um, that's inside of that. There's there's a couple of other ones. It's it's a cool format, but the RSV. I don't have much experience inside of the RSV. That stands for Revised Standard Version. But what's neat about the RSV was that was the academic translation until probably the mid to late 1980s when you saw more conservative folks begin taking on the New American Standard Bible and then mainline folks using the New Revised Standard Version. But the RSV... Uh, it's it's cool. It's it, it comes from the King James tradition, and so it's more of a formal Bible. But this was, you know, outside of the King James translation, I would say that this was like the main translation that you would see in a lot of churches in the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s. Yeah, the copyright is 1946 by the National Council of the Churches of Christ, uh, and this is back when there was the National Council of Churches, multiple denominations kind of coming together for this sort of thing. Uh, that's back when um, they would call it ecumenical medical relations, but it wasn't multiple faith traditions. It was multiple expressions of Christianity uh, coming together. And so this was a fun Bible, the fun Bible carry. Um, you know, it, it's an authorized revision of the American Standard, which came out like in 1900, 1905, something like that. Uh, and so you see, this is this is the Bible of the mid 20th century. If, the, if you're looking for a translation that helps you understand you know, the, uh, you know, the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s in America. This is a really good idea of what this looks like and the Bible that folks are using. So that was my Bible for this Sunday. Uh, drop in the comments about RSV or about just hardback Bibles or what else you want to talk about. I love to, to hang out and talk in the comments. But this is the thing I told you at the end. I'm not making as many videos as I would like to. But I write emails about all sorts of things every week. I've got three primary lists. One is for the productive pastor community. So this is a group of people that talk about healthy ministry through strategic productivity. The second email I write uh, pretty much every week, sometimes bi-weekly, is for my research on church size and church development. And it's focused around normal sized churches, these churches of under 100. And we talk specifically about growth and research and just specific ministry strategies you might find. And the third is, and I send this out about every other week, is my, my theological and devotional thoughts. So this is more like Chad talking about the Bible and the spiritual life and scripture, all that kind of stuff. If you really jive with the videos I make here and talking about this stuff, and you said, hey, I wonder what Chad thinks more deeply about very specific things, then that's a fantastic email for you to follow. And all you have to do is go down in the description and click on Chad's email list. It will send you to Kit, which is how I manage emails. You'll sign up and then you'll get an email from me saying, hey, these are the three emails I sent. All you have to do is click on a link inside of there and you can uh, get you can jump on one or all three of those. But that's it, that's the video. It's Chad's Bible of the Sunday. We'll come up with a better title of it one day sooner or later, but I like the series. These are easy to shoot, uh, easy to get out, easy to send to you. So. I'll see you back in the next video, and until then, come hang out in the comments. All right, bye.